How's it going guys? We've got a lot of problems in our house with dead spots in our Wi-Fi network. So I've done a lot of research on the subject. I've looked at dozens and dozens of different Wi-Fi extenders and my research led me to this one, which is the TP-Link AC1750 dual band Wi-Fi extender. So this has literally arrived today. Um, it's still in the shrink wrap. This retails for somewhere between 40 and 50 pounds. So it's not the cheapest Wi-Fi extender on the market, but from what I understand, it's one of the better ones. Right, so I've literally just taken the shrink wrap off this now. So it's the first time I'm going into this box. Okay, so that seems pretty simple to set up to me. It obviously just plugs into the wall. Um, feels like a good sort of quality product. It should be for around £45, which is what I pay for it. I guess this is the antenna system. It's also got this network port here, so I imagine you can just plug another device into that, maybe a laptop or something that's fixed. It does feel like a very nice piece of kit, that. Um, see if we've got any instructions in the box. Hopefully we have. There we go, quick installation guide. Okay, I'm not going to go through that in detail because if you're techie, I'm sure you can follow it. So what I've done guys, I've downloaded this app, which is Wi-Fi Signal Meter. Um, it's got about 5 million downloads on the App Store. There's loads of these type of applications. But what I want to do is just test that this Wi-Fi range extender actually works. So my Wi-Fi router is here in the corner. Unfortunately, that's the only place it can be really installed in the house. And you can see we're getting 100% signal strength there, or pretty much 99 all the time. So I'm now just going to head outside. And the main problem we have is when we go into the garden, we sit out in the garden a lot, the signal strength drops off dramatically. So if you, you're listening to something like Spotify or just trying to watch a YouTube video or even get a text or send a text, the signal basically goes down to pretty much zero. So um, we're going outside, so it's going to be difficult to focus on the phone. But if I go to the garden table, in fact, if I go to this rattan sofa where we often sit, it's difficult to see that, so I'm just going to cover the camera up. You can probably just make out there, we're down to about 8%. Oh, there we go, zero. So essentially there's no Wi-Fi signal out here at all. And we're not really that far from the house, to be honest. So that's obviously a big problem when we're sat in the garden. So. What I'm going to do is set up this extender now and just see if it helps this problem. So back into the kitchen. I don't know whether it's lost the Wi-Fi network entirely now. This is one of our problems in fact, is when you go outside you just get completely disconnected. So what I'm looking to do is set up this range extender and just deal with that problem in the garden. And it means when we have guests around and you know we're playing music or wherever, we're not struggling for signal. Okay, I've already managed to connect this up guys, it took me about two minutes, so the, there are three ways of connecting it up. You can download this Tether app from TP-Link on the App Store or Google Play. Um, I did start to do that and then while I was downloading I saw there were another couple of methods to do it. So the other one is using the WPS button in your router. If you've got an older router that's probably not going to work. So I spotted this method here which was basically connect my smartphone up to the TP-Link extender network and then you just visit this web address here or this IP address um, and you just put in the password of your Wi-Fi network and that seems to have hooked up quite nicely. So go and have a look at the router and the extender. So there's the router, there's the extender there and the extender seems to be connected. So what we're now going to do is disconnect the extender and we're going to plug it in elsewhere and just see if that boosts the signal. So let's give that a go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in the kitchen. So it's pretty far away from my current Wi-Fi router. So there's a couple of options here. I've got a spare plug here, which is the one closest to where we sit in the garden. And I've got one over here. So um, I'm gonna go for the one that's closest to where we sit in the garden, because that really makes more sense, to be honest. So. If I just plug that in 
and it's powering up now and I think it'll probably take about 20-30 seconds or so to get the signal. The only slight downside to Wi-Fi extenders is what they generally do is they create a secondary network for you to connect to. So once everything is set up correctly, you'll have to connect your devices to the extended network rather than the main network, if that makes sense. So I think that's ready to go now. Let's just check that. And you can see there it's gone blue now. So that means it's picked up the network and it's extending the network. So what I'll do now, I'll repeat my Wi-Fi strength test and just see if that's improved the signal in the garden. Hopefully we should get a pretty good signal out there now. So I'm just finding up the signal strength meter now. And I'm connected in there. And you can see that the Wi-Fi signal is still pretty strong in here. As I say, this does create a secondary network rather than using your main Wi-Fi network, which is a little bit of a pain, but it works pretty well to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to head out into the kitchen now. So as we get close to this, we should find that should jump to about 100%. There we go, we're pretty much at 100% there. So what I'm going to do now, I'll head into the garden and I'll see if we get a good signal boost on this. It's pretty good in the kitchen, so in theory we should get a great boost. And again, uh, the lighting is going to be a little bit off here, so I'll have to play about with this. Well, let's have a look. Still pretty good there, 96%. Okay, so this is where we were before, and you can see now, it's going to be difficult to see that, so I'll just cover it over. You can hopefully see now that we're on 80%, so if you remember earlier on, we were getting 0% out here, but well, we've gone up to 83 now, so that's pretty good though. So that's where to treat that. It's completely eliminated the dead spot on the Wi-Fi network on the patio. I did a couple of tests off camera there. I just watched a couple of YouTube videos just to make sure I was getting decent download speed and stuff like that. And it's really, really quick. So basically that's completely eliminated the dead spot on the patio, uh, which I'm really, really pleased about. So yeah, so if you do have a dead spot that you want to eliminate or you just want to extend your Wi-Fi network into the garden or wherever, as I say, go and check out one of these. I've put a link in the video description to where you can get this. Um, it does retail, as I say, about 45, 50 pounds or something like that. So go and pick one up. Um, really, really solid piece of kit. Took me about two minutes to set up once I've read the instructions. Very, very easy to set up. I would also recommend you download that Wi-Fi strength meter. It is a free app. It doesn't cost anything. It's nothing to do with me. I just found it on the app store. Um, it is a little bit annoying with the amount of ads in it, but it means you can test out where all your dead spots are and you can figure out whether you're getting a good response from your new Wi-Fi extender. So I hope you enjoyed that review, guys. Hope you find it really useful. Um, I'm really pleased that I was able to fix that dead spot on my Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and um, take it easy. Cheers.